We are offering uh, BSc honors in agriculture. This is a four-year program um, with eight semesters, and this program is uh, in 100% compliance with the Indian Council of Agricultural Research uh, guidelines. And uh, besides that, because Amrita uh, University, Amrita Vishwavidya Vedam, is a multidisciplinary university with uh, different streams like engineering. Uh, business management, med medical sciences, computer sciences, nanotechnology and different science streams. Uh, this uh, will give a multidisciplinary approach and focus to our program as well. For example, in a conventional university, in a conventional agricultural university, it is very difficult uh, for students and faculties to collaborate in advanced areas of computing. For example, if they want to collaborate in artificial intelligence or nanotechnology, uh, in, uh, at least in some instances, they need to move out and uh, find a research partner from other university. But for us, uh, in Amurda, uh, it will be in, in our uh, next campus. So there will be uh, plenty of researchers uh, with uh, ample uh, expertise in different fields. Uh, we, we have this expertise in uh, Amurda Vishwadhyaya Pedam. There are plenty of opportunity for BSc Hans agriculture holder once they have completed their program. The opportunities from government as well as private sector for them. First we see the government opportunities, I mean government jobs for agriculture holders. So first state department of agriculture, state department of agriculture regularly recruit agriculture officers from agriculture background, I mean BSc Hans agriculture holders as well as Majority of the agriculture students are prefer to prepare civil service examination. In that civil service examination, there are two papers are there. First paper, general paper, second one, there are optional paper. In that optional paper, agriculture graduates are chosen agriculture as their main. During their preparation, during their study itself, they are learned about agriculture, especially crop cultivation, crop production, crop management aspect. During that examination, they are get full-fledged knowledge from this program. They are easily clear that civil service examination like it may securing IAS, IPS, then IFS. Moreover, NABAD, National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development. So their main focusing area is agriculture. They are also recruiting BSc Hans agriculture holder as a agriculture officer, special officer, field officer. Moreover, Many NGOs, they are organizing, arranging various rural development activity program. As a part of NGO, NGO also recruiting our agriculture graduates as a employee because many of the NGOs are working in rural development, especially in rural area, majority of the rural people, their occupation is agriculture, that's why they are always prefer agriculture graduate for the post of manager in NGOs. Then, apart from this kind of uh, government and private opportunity for BSc Hans agriculture holder, they are also uh, had many scope and future in abroad. Especially in abroad, they are rec directly recruiting as a farm manager, then agriculture manager. In that post, they are getting maximum salary when compared to our Indian condition. Overall, so especially in India like a country, once a student completed their degree program, either it may be a BSc Hans Agriculture or MSc Agriculture or PhD, 
definitely they have had such a scope and career opportunity in the country itself at amrita school of agriculture sciences we follow the curriculum and syllabus framed by indian council of agriculture research icar the icar curriculum is designed in such a way that the basic and the fundamental courses are taught in the first year the principles and techniques in the second year the production systems in the third year and the skill and the entrepreneurship development in the final year at our school we take efforts to inculcate skill development throughout the program rather than in the final year so that the students gain enough experience and exposure at amrita we provide value based education by including cultural education in the curriculum and mold the characters of younger generation through a system of wholesome learning to impart human values and ethics at amrita the curriculum is executed through a multidisciplinary approach aligned with the international pattern in contrary to the traditional agriculture colleges our our students and faculties gets the opportunity to learn and do research with a multidisciplinary team the specialty of agricultural course in amrita school of agriculture sciences is we are offering four year bsc honors agriculture and the curriculum and syllabi are framed by indian council of agriculture research new delhi we follow it meticulously without any deviation we have a well experienced faculty both trained in reputed institutes of india as well as abroad to give an best education in the field of agriculture amrita school of agriculture is bestowed with an well equipped infrastructure comparing to any one of the leading universities to enhance the skill set of agricultural graduates studying at amrita school of agriculture sciences skill development committee is continuously bringing leading emerging expert industry partners and collaborators to give hands on training on frontiers areas of agriculture and to establish various model units in the amrita school of agriculture campus in addition to the curriculum we have courses like cultural education where we inculcate the cultural values to the younger generation as india is meant for its tradition and culture we teach them the richness the depth of indian culture values of indian culture itikas festivals why we celebrate those festivals the importance of yoga and meditation so in the first year itself we uh, teach them all these uh, cultural values to them by means of cultural education education for life and education for living so as the saying goes we also whatever we just teach theoretically we them apply we make them apply practically so the students we are in engaged in the activities like ayud ayud it is like an international youth movement of mata amrudandamayi devi math it is very active in agricultural campus students very enthusiastically participate in all these activities under four wings of ayud one is cultural heritage second is personal empowerment third is green initiative and fourth is social services so we have undergone all these uh, categories the students are engaged in all the four activities uh, while in uh, social services students have gone to the rural and urban areas for example they have gone for the anti microbial resistance awareness and for green initiatives it as an agriculturist the students were eagerly participating the activities like vertical gardening and also even at covid times at their own home with a piece of land they started cultivating the organic garden so uh, under under this category the students were enthusiastically practicing all the cultivation practices under the green initiative category and for um, personal empowerment we have specifically yoga and i am meditation technique that is nothing but the integrated amrita meditation technique where they integrate the yoga meditation and pranayama so the students will be having an unified mind towards a goal and without any deviation without with its determination they will reach their goal
Uh, in Amrita School of Agricultural Sciences, uh, we divide uh, different activities, in, uh, activities into uh, different streams. For example, there is a webinar committee. So under this uh, committee, we organize uh, regular webinars to our students uh, and uh, uh, researchers with uh, international expertise and national expertise are uh, delivering uh, webinars on uh, lead topics uh, for uh, our students and faculties. And uh, this will be uh, a forum for uh, interacting with these researchers and also take part in some of the research and developmental activities. Uh, another stream is uh, skill development. Under skill development, uh, we invite uh, leaders uh, from industry and also in the research and academic scenario uh, to uh, give hands-on experience to our students. So for example, uh, there were lectures from sericulture field, uh, irrigation, uh, um, firms like Jain Irrigation, leaders from Jain Irrigation delivered lectures to our students and also um, uh, industry uh, uh, experts industrial experts in the field of hydroponics, aquaponics area also delivered lectures to our students. So uh, students will get, get ample opportunities to uh, have hands-on experience in different fields uh, under skill development uh, uh, stream. And then uh, career development. Uh, career development is meant for uh, students uh, future career options. So we train students uh, in different streams uh, spanning from agriculture officer at the government the, uh, department, then bank officer, then uh, for uh, advanced exams like ICR, JRF exams, uh, and also for uh, senior research fellow. Uh, so technical officers and agriculture research service exams. So we compile uh, this, uh, you know, uh, the questions and also discuss, uh, uh, give students an opportunity to come up with uh, valuable material uh, and also we train uh, them to score high ranks in these exams. So that way we streamlined our activities into different streams. In a nutshell, uh, under our Chancellor Amma's guidance, um, we are training our students to be the best leaders uh, in the field of agriculture to serve the country and uh, both nationally and internationally and serve humanity.